Hi, I'm Ernie Medina with TRB. Today I want to talk a little bit about shooting from uh, different positions and one position in particular. Uh, and that is from the, 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 sh the seated position. So uh, not every time that we are encountered with a CCW uh, type situation, if many of you out there that carry probably have seen videos of different situations online, uh, but not all of them start with the, the, the defender facing their target, ready to draw and so on. So we must practice uh, from certainly different shooting positions and we also need to practice drawing from those different positions. One today I want to talk about is that seated position and how we uh, draw and how we get rounds on target effectively uh, from the start from that position. Okay, and there's a couple things uh, uh, we need to focus on because it could be uh, that I need to draw from my car if I'm driving. Uh, and also, if, if let's just say I'm seated at a table, I'm in a movie theater, whatever that I'm doing where, where I'm seated, I need to be able to put rounds on target quickly before I either stand up, go down, or whatever I need to do in order to get into my, my shooting position. So we're going to talk a little bit about that today. So a couple things to note from this position. One, if I'm in my car, so I'm, I'm driving, certainly I have my, my seatbelt on, Depending if you're a left or right-handed shooter, you have to have some considerations about your draw. So if I'm a left-handed shooter like I am, I have the door right here. So drawing for me is not necessarily as easy as a task with all the room that say uh, right-handed folks have. Okay. Now, uh, similarly, uh, for right-handed folks, the, uh, the seatbelt converging over here on my right side in the vicinity where my, my hip holster would be, that's also something to, to consider. Uh, so just know how you're going to draw in that particular situation. If you are right-handed, uh, right-handed shooter, then what I may want to do is sneak or practice sneaking my hand underneath the uh, the shoulder strap of the belt, and then meeting my my primary hand at the point of draw. Remember, you obviously have to get to your garment to clear that. So I would get in here, clear my garment, and then draw. Okay. If you're an appendix uh, carry type person, then you're going to have uh, your firearm uh, coordination right here. Now again, you have clothing that will probably be in the way if you're concealed carrying. So a couple things to consider is that how does this, this uh, shoulder strap play into my draw? Do I pull it out, uh, pull out the shoulder strap and then pull up on my clothes and then draw? That might be a separate step. Uh, or do I come through again? pull up my clothing and the belt together, expose the, the firearm, and then put rounds on target, okay? Now, obviously, my windshield would be here, so I might be shooting this way out the side of the window as well. All things to consider. Now, at the same time, I might be at a table at a restaurant or at a movie theater, so I won't have the, uh, the lap belt situation. So if I'm drawing, and this is all from the hip now, okay, if I'm drawing, I wanna make sure that I can do this for, uh, in a speedy way uh, from this position. So I have to worry about clearing my garment. So I'm going to clear my garment and then draw. Now, a couple things you need to know that in order to do this effectively, you got to work on, on that core strength because that core strength is going to give you the contraction you need to get to this position. And the core strength is what's going to help you gain the momentum to uh, put the firearm and present it out. So in this particular situation, okay, I would come up here, I would lean forward, so then that way I can actually roll my hips forward and get a good master grip on my firearm, okay? So that core is actually engaging here. Draw, same draw stroke as if I'm standing, go to position three, and then now I'm gonna come back as I come back into the back of my chair and I present out, I'm gonna present out here into my shooting position. Now, I may want to get the opposing leverage by kicking my, my legs out if I can, but just stay here where you're balanced and don't be in a position where you're going to uh, uh, throw yourself off. If your legs are too, out too far, then you will throw yourself off balance. So good shooting position here. I push out and I'm contracting my core to actually give myself some opposing force, thereby momentum to get that firearm out, put rounds on target. Okay. And then from here, if I need to stand up, I can stand up and finish the job of whatever I need to do, okay? Or if I need to take a knee from the seated position, 
I can take a knee from here and shoot, okay? So shooting or drawing and shooting from the seated position, okay, here is something that you need to practice and it just doesn't come naturally is that you have to work on getting that core strength coming forward, contracting forward, clearing whatever garment, if it's a jacket, clear it with a, a primary hand, okay, which might be uh, uh, challenging because you'll be stopped by the seat back or if there's any anything here, another person, another seat back here, okay, so practice that. So clear your garment, contract, and then from here, expand out on your draw, get that balance in the footing, put your rounds on target, and either stand, kneel, or whatever it is that you need to do from there. Okay. So another thing to consider when you're practicing the various shooting positions, not just standing, not just kneeling, you need to be able to shoot uh, from any position that, that, that gets thrown at you because in real life, you're not going to have the luxury in most cases to be facing your target, uh, uh, given prep time, ready to go. It's not going to work out that way. You might already be in a compromised position of some kind. You need to be able to make the best of it. Hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, like and subscribe with the buttons below, and hit that bell to be alerted for future videos.